Thanks for this is new album. You're part of the Dimac label. Thank you so much, Felix Cartel, for being on the show. Thank you for having me. So how are you doing? You're going to perform. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Wait, wait. I know you're a super seasoned performer. Do you actually ever get nervous when you get on stage? Or does that like crowd energy just like pump you? And you're just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Playing basketball, you know, a little basketball. Pretty, that was pretty smooth. Um, I don't know. I get a little bit nervous every time, but uh, I think that's a good thing. It makes me like feel like I care. <laughs> if I wasn't nervous, that'd be weird. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> so I've seen you perform before. Yeah. So I'm about to see you again. Will I be kind of watching the same thing, kind of the same set? How's it going to go down? What can I expect? Um, I mean, I'm on my album tour right now, so it's just like a lot of kind of edits that I've done of the tracks that are on my record. So yeah, lots of new music. How about performances? Are you going to just like go up there and start dancing? Are you going to do anything different? I'm not much of a dancer, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. I've, I, I move around a little bit up there. I, I got my own little style, I guess. Because I know you have pretty like aggressive music. Like, What are some, I guess, do's and don'ts of kind of aggressive music dancing? Because I just kind of like head bob or kind of move my you know body, but I'm not yeah. too like, I think, keen about it. I think like, a, a bit of fist pumping is OK, but you got you to gotta keep a lock on that. You can't go over the top. Tour the Dimac label, correct? Yeah, that's my record label. Steve Aoki's my homie. So I saw him perform, yes, perform yesterday and a couple of times before, and he actually threw cake in the audience. He's thrown a raft in the audience and like jumped in it and like swam around. Do you, right. Are you gonna ever get to that level throwing cake at the audience? Or I don't know. I don't want to step on Steve's thing. That's that's Steve's thing. I let Steve do the weird antics. I got in the raft though once at one of his shows, and that was fun. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, like batted a couple people in the audience. Yeah, white white raver rafting. <laughs> so tell me how you got started. Um, I mean, I, I played in a lot of bands growing up, and I just started doing software on the side. And then once my bands broke up, I took it a little more seriously and put a couple songs on some blogs, and it all just kind of came from there. But I know that the bands that you used to be in were kind of like a different genre of music. Yeah, correct? totally. I mean, I, did, I was in a punk band for a long time, then I was in kind of a pop rock band. so sort of done it all throughout the years. And how did you kind of transition to like this level of epic like house EDM this? Um, I don't know. I think a lot of the things that I was into in dance music originally were people that were like bridging the gap like Mastercraft and they were doing you know remixes for bands that I liked and I think that's sort of when I started to like draw the similarities between rock and the dance world. How do you think that has influenced your music now? Like being part of kind of like a different genre. Um, I mean, for me, I really like writing albums, and I don't think a lot of dance guys write records. So, yeah. So, I mean, on the record, I collaborate with a bunch of different band people, like The Sounds and Sebastian from Death from Above 1979. So, kind of doing that is a little bit. I haven't noticed other people doing it as much. So, it's kind of my thing. Like, you know, it's a totally kind of different genre, and like you get, I guess, those guest singers to come on board. Like, as far as lyrics go. Do you ask them to kind of like choose lyrics to go with your the, the beats you've produced, or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the collaborations on this record, we just did a, over email, so wow. yeah, because uh, I mean, I'm always traveling, and the other artists, they're always on tour too, so a lot of the time, it's just kind of like emailing each other once a week and slowly making changes till it kind of gets to a place where we're both happy. That's awesome. Well, it turns out really awesome. 2012. A lot of bands have been doing that for a while, yeah. so. Great. I love it. Any kind of like dream artists that you're kind of wanting to perform with? I've always wanted to work with Muse. Like I really love oh, the way I love that guy. Muse too. I love his voice that's so that's much. Yeah, favorite. he's amazing. So I think him on a dance track would be like really special. That'd be really awesome. So any cool upcoming projects you're working on? Uh, I'm just doing some collaborations right now. Uh, I'm working on something with Dylan Francis, and then my friend Clockwork, who is on tour with me, we did a song together, and yeah, just kind of doing some stuff that's not just for me right now. I gotta I gotta rest after the record a little bit. And continue touring and promoting and interviews and all that fun stuff. All that, all that other thing that comes with it. And then also on your website, you include a lot of um, advice for artists or you know people who are getting started producing. Can you give our audience kind of a glimpse of that, you know, knowledge? Um, I think the biggest thing is like, don't worry about having a big studio, you know, it's just like make what you can with what you have. That's like my biggest tip. <laughs> well, you heard it from him, Felix Cartel. Thank you so much for being on the show. Make sure to check him out. Thanks Thank for you. Me. Don't turn